Guys, thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to look at focus stacking within Affinity Photo. If you work uh, with a macro lens or a close-up lens and you want a greater depth of field, the only way really to achieve that is focus stacking. Now, I've never had a lot of luck with this uh, in the past. I've tried one or two things. My macro lens, the Nikon 105 2.8, breathes quite a lot so as you move focus it changes the whole scene dramatically and I've never successfully put more than two shots together so again within Affinity Photo there is this logarithm that makes it extremely easy and um, let's have a look at that together Okay, um, well I'm hoping that's got it, that was uh, 22 shots. Okay, so here we are in Affinity Photo. We're going to File, New Focus Merge and we're going to add the images that we want to merge. It's opened up on the desk, desktop and these are the images that we just took. And so we're going to select them, shift click and click open. And there they all are. Now, when I click OK, uh, the logarithm in Focus Merge will align all the images and then it will continue to uh, look at each image and select the in focus portion of that image and uh, finally merge them all together to one image that is and should be in focus from front to back. So here we go, and let's watch the magic take place. It's aligning the images now. And this is the real magic as it looks for the in-focus portion of each of those images. And I think that's probably only a matter of about 30 seconds. And there is our finished image. Um, the front pearl, which was the first place I focused, obviously is uh, OK. And then I moved up here and onto the front of the dishes and went up to the top of each dish or spoon, call them what you will, and then went over to this one and did the same there. So 16 images, I would say about sort of six on each spoon and two at the front. Now, there is a bit of vignetting and it has accentuated a little bit of sensor dust or something there and there. Um, and here we have uh, the, the 16 images. So um, the first one, if we want to look at that, we can toggle that on and off by looking at this eye. So there's the first one and you see it is the pearl at the front. And very quickly, uh, what was I working at? About F8, I think. Very quickly, uh, behind the first uh, focus point, we start to see a blurred image. And then if we go on to the next, I suppose I focused uh, probably about... Actually, that doesn't look very good. It looks as though it's still this one, doesn't it? Let's have a look at the next. Oh, I'm going backwards, aren't I? That way. Not quite sure. Oh, I've got to toggle this on each time. Yeah. So, um, I wouldn't know where I was working then. I suppose it looks as though I'm working about here, focusing here. Let's have a look at the next one. Toggle that on. Yes, I'm going up this spoon now, you see. So now these are starting to go out of focus. Um, 
open this one. And onward and onward. Well, there you have it. Um, I'll now probably take this uh, final image and see if I can dress it up a little bit. We, we know that it's not a work of art. Um, and um, there wasn't a lot of effort put into the setup of this, all the lighting, as you can see. But I think that demonstrates fairly clearly how powerful the logarithm within Affinity Photo is and how simple it is to get uh, back to front focus uh, on an image. Thank you for having a look at that. And um, I hope you found it interesting and possibly even a bit of fun. If you felt extraordinarily generous, you might just give me a thumbs up at the end of this video. It would be much appreciated. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.